Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. Today we're going to be talking about my October faves. All my favorite things for the month. Stay tuned. Remind me of 12th grade. Remind me of young Shay. Feel like a new shoe. Remind me of old games. Taste like an ice cold. Taste like a mango. Feel like some new socks. Taste like an angel. She look like a Badu. Wrote her a high Hey y'all, welcome back to what I'm on today. My name is Lakia Chanel and I make videos about all things handbags, both luxury and contemporary because you guys already know that I do not discriminate. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. Of course we're going to be talking about bags like, uh, yes. But we're also going to be talking about some other things that I have been loving for the month of October. And as a disclaimer, these aren't necessarily things that I have purchased in October. These are things that I have noticed, I have loved, I have been wearing, I have been enjoying for the month. So let's get right into it. The first thing is, of course, I mean, she has the sweater on. So my, I think I got this either the end of September or beginning of October. This is the um, collaboration with Target and Kalani Barfield Brown. And this is the um, cardigan. I don't know what it's called. I'll put it down below. Could be still at your target, but I have been loving this. Uh, it is super versatile. I have worn it like I'm wearing it now. I have worn it kind of tucked in with that whole vibe. And she is like, she's giving all the things. And I'm just loving her and she is giving me like all of the fall vibes. It's pretty great quality, I would say. And it wasn't super expensive. I cannot remember what I paid for it. Maybe 20 30 mm, I think it was under 40 but I'll put the right price below but this was one of my favorite purchases or wares for the month of October the next thing is going to be the planner you guys know that I got this planner this summer in August and I have really been working the planner guys and this has really been like one of my favorite things like to sit down to write some things in here to plan to see things coming into fruition that I have in here that I'm really focused on has been like really great and I have been really enjoying and loving this and I did say that I was going to do like a review or a put together situation which I still will um, but this is great I created like a dismount binder for this uh, GM desk agenda for Louis Vuitton and again been loving it so much. The next thing that I have been loving has literally been fragrances. So I am a new to the fragrance world girl. I've been kind of being obsessed over fragrances for like the past year. Prior to that I was easy peasy, give me some Bath and Body Works, give me some soap. I love it, right? So I've been venturing out and doing a little bit more. And so I want to talk to you guys about some of the fragrances that I have been absolutely loving. The first fragrance is from a company called Dossier. I am sure you guys have seen a lot of reviews on this particular company. I have purchased over the past year probably like 15 fragrances from them and they are really like great. I, I literally love them. They are so their whole thing is that they are an Italian brand, everything is vegan and cruelty free, um, and they make inspired fragrances of your favorite um, name brand fragrances. And so I have been kind of on this thing of like, I, the price points of these are amazing. They're between $29 and I think $49 is the most expensive one. And um, they literally smell almost identical to the original uh, perfume. So this is the Ambry Saffron, which is the um, inspired for the uh, Baccarat Rouge that everybody's talking about. I have smelled both of them. Um, and this smells almost identical to the Baccarat Rouge. It has a little sweeter after scent or after turn or dry down than the Baccarat Rouge so I kind of like this a little teeny bit better but for you guys who are like into notes and stuff um this is the top notes are saffron and orange blossom middle notes are jasmine plum and cedarwood and then the base notes are oak moss fir balsam and amber 
great fragrance. It's a fragrance that I've probably like never smelled before. It's very unique. There are tons of reviews on this particular fragrance from uh, Dossier as well as the actual Baccarat Rouge, but this is my second bottle and I have literally been using this like crazy and I feel like it's a great like base scent. To me it's an all year round scent and then it also pairs well with like other scents. So Amber Saffron, been loving and obsessed over this. My other fragrance is again from Dossier and this is called Ambry Cherry. This is the inspired version of the Tom Ford Lost Cherry and I have I smelled I don't know if I've smelled the um, actual Lost Cherry but this fragrance I literally like this is like my my signature I love to wear this every single day fragrance it's so freaking good it is like a nice juicy cherry with like vanilla like undertone mm, so good so let me read out the notes for you notes individuals there so top notes cherry almond cinnamon middle notes cloves rose jasmine and plum and then the base notes are peru balsam tonka bean and vanilla obsessed with this. So my newest fragrance is the Prada Paradox. This is very new to my collection. Love this scent. It is giving, it's a, it's a very kind of bold scent, but like soft at the same time. It's got some floral in there, but not like super florally. It's very, mm, it's very grown woman, but like soft and kind of sensual all the things. So let me read the notes for this as well. Key notes here are Neurali Bud, White Amber, and White Musk. The scent type is called Warm Florals and that was from the Sephora website. So for the other two fragrances, because you guys know I like to tell you cost, this is the 1.7 ounce bottle uh, for the Prada and I believe that it was $115. I'll put that information below. The Ambry Saffron was $49 and then the um, Ambry Cherry was also $49 at Dossier. And then also Dossier, like depending on how many you buy, you can get up to like 20% off of your purchase as well. So pretty good prices. There you go. Love this brand so much. Okay, done with the scents. Um, you guys have seen these in my previous video, but I have to plug them again because I have been obsessed and loving them. Of course, they're my sunnies. I love these sunnies from Hip Optical. I know you guys saw in my previous video, but I really like love these. They have been super awesome. I love the kind of chunky vibe that they are giving me. Um, again, the coupon code is still effective if you guys are interested. $15 off your first pair, $30 off if you buy two pairs. Um, great glasses, love them, giving me all the vibes that I want. Now, let's get into the bigs. I have been loving and super obsessed over my new Bottega bag. This is the pleated, I'm gonna put the name down, intro consumption in here. Uh, from Bottega. I have been like I've been really like kind of obsessing over Bottega and I really want so many more of their bags. I think they're so creative. Their leather is like second to none. Awesome. Um, the prices the prices are, are are not giving what I need them to give. So I ended up picking up this really amazing bag from um, Rebag and it was on sale for $610 and I did a little tradey and then I ended up getting it for like $400 bucks, which I am super excited about. It is in like excellent condition. It's from 2008 so I think we're calling her vintage and um, it is just really awesome especially if you are into like the Jody vibe especially like the teen Jody and the larger ones. Um, this is great. This is the size large. Um, I'm going to do a whole video on her so I'll give you all the information in a, a uh, future video but I have been like wearing her like crazy since I got her a couple of weeks ago and um, I'm just I'm obsessed over all the things. The last bag that I'm adding for my October favorite things is of course my YSL I Care Tote. You guys already know that I got this this summer. 
I am still obsessed. I am still loving her. She's doing all the things that she needs to do. And um, I can't get enough. And I'm trying not to feature her in every video because I feel like she's been featured in a couple of videos so far, but she can't help herself. She loves the camera. No, I'm joking. But um, I love her. I've been getting so much wear. She's super easy and and she's great and I've really been like on a big back kick lately so she is she's all the things and I, I love her my last favorite thing for the month of October are the great organization systems that I have found very inexpensively um, if you know me you know that I am a pretty organized person and I don't like chaos I like my things to be in order and I finally got around to organizing one of my pantries and um, thanks to Amazon um, as well as the one dollar store I have been able to organize it and feel really good about that so as you can see she is looking very nice very organized and um, pretty inexpensive for this look and I'm very very happy about it so that's it those are some of my favorite things for the month of October I will have links below to all of the things that I can find um, if you're interested in any of those items also um, I am always interested to see like what are you guys loving this month what have you been you know using a lot or thinking about a lot it's it's all great stuff so comment below and if you are new to this channel do not forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell I normally mostly mostly um, release videos every Saturday at 1 and then I also am going to start releasing maybe one um, during the week maybe on Wednesday as well so I um, appreciate all of you guys who are here who continue to watch the videos thank you so much and I look forward to seeing you guys next Saturday at 1. Bye. <laughs>